All right guys, so here with another haircut video. This haircut, the client wanted to just touch on the sides. He just wanted to do a fade, a mid-low fade, uh, keeping it high and tight. So here I'm starting out with my number two guard. Um, I'm pretty much knocking out all the weight. Um, for the most part, this is how I usually start my haircuts. Depending on what the client wants, I'll either do a one and a half or a number two. In this case, I'm doing a number two. So the transition phase between the skin to two is, you know, uh, very, very short. So there's no way to get lost, but doing it like this helps me out a little bit. Uh, with the triple zeros here and uh, my magic clippers, uh, they are zero gapped, so I am creating that foundation line for my skin fade. Um, I'm keeping it right at the middle of that arch and I am bringing down, going around the occipital bone of the head. That way it just it just creates a better a visual haircut, I guess, you know, uh, it just pops more and looks better. So here I'm just doing it on the sides. I have to, you know, kind of be careful and check that everything's all even on both sides. And uh, I try to make my line really, really clean because that will just help me along the way. I know a lot of guys start their initial line with, with uh, the trimmers. Um, I don't do that just because the trimmers is just a tiny, tiny bit shorter. So I do my triple zeros and then I come around with my slimline pros that are gapped and I go over it one more time. I don't, however, go all the way up to the line. I keep maybe a quarter inch below that line so it just flows better. And then obviously here with my five star shaver, I am just touching it up, you know, making it clean all the way down to the skin down there. This helps create just, it's almost like a highlighter like it just highlights the the fade the skin fade here i am now with my lever open so what i am doing pretty much is you know in the beginning i was really struggling with for some reason keeping a, a, a neat line keeping everything nice and neat and compact and creating the first line you know helps with that a lot so here i have my lever open with my five star senior and i'm going around the, the head and you know going over it really quickly one thing to keep in mind is when you go around the occipital bone just just try to stretch on the back of the head a little more than you would on the sides. It just, you know, it's, it's a longer, you have more hair to fade, so you wanna stretch that out. Here I'm, I'm you know, knocking down the line, that initial line with my, uh, with my lever halfway open and closed. I'm kind of um, opening and closing a little bit, just, you know, kind of like freehanding, trying my best to get rid of that initial triple zero line. Uh, stretch the skin a little bit, sometimes I don't, I don't, I try not to stretch the skin as much, um, but, um, but yeah. Here, simple. With the number one guard, um, open lever here, I am just pretty much going up another inch or so, maybe over an inch, and I am flicking out, uh, so that transition between the one and a half and the two is blended out even more. I'm still going back with my one and a half guard uh, to smooth things out, but this uh, this will kind of help the process a little bit, and um, and it really does make it pop and smooth it out a little bit. So going around the head, flicking it out with the one guard all the way open, and then I go back and I close it to knock down that line that I created from the half guard to the one and a half. So I, I close the one guard and I knock down the line. Once I'm done doing that, I come back with the one and a half, like I said before, and I'm just smoothing out, you know, everything. Um, just smoothing everything out. I open, I close it, and trying to make the, 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 the blend really, really poppy. Here now, I know the client did say he did not want to cut anything off the top, but 
you know, in order for you to create a really, really even haircut, you do need to even out all the sides. And so this is what I'm doing here. Um, I like to use eight inch uh, shear. They work well, it's just one, one stroke and everything is, is cut and that thing is sharp as hell. So it, uh, it helps me cut down a couple minutes off the haircut instead of just zip, zip, zip. I come all the way here to the right and I even that side out and then I'll come all the way to the left and even that side out. This is this is not one of those haircuts where it's just like going straight up and um, keeping it really on a large, large angle. So I'm this haircut I'm I'm smoothing everything out and it's it's a nice even blend all over the head. So to smooth everything out, you uh, I come back with my thinning shears. Uh, these thinning shears I got off of Amazon, uh, it was a set with the regular shears and the thinning shears for 30 bucks I think and they're not, they don't cut as much hair so it's perfect for blending and everything. Now I'm just, you know, blending uh, the sideburns into the beard and then now we're going over what the client actually you know once for the beard uh, you know for the most part people come in and they say hey I want some trim uh, and make everything smooth but I like to I like to get in, into detail with the client so here I'm just asking him if he wants to have the beard nice and, and uh, symmetrical with his head and making it nice and rectangular or we're going more towards more something like uh, more poofy and and more volume so he decided to go with something more cleaner and, and, and symmetrical. So, you know, doing my beard trims, what I like to do is just freehand. Freehand everything with my trimmers. Um, I don't like to use any scissors. Um, I have not yet gotten comfortable with him to do a beard trim like this. And so I like the, the, the trimmers, the Slimline Pro, just because it's sharp, it cuts, and it's, it's easier for me to keep a straighter line. Here I'm just shaping the beard all around the cheek, the, the cheeks, uh, making it, you know, pop and making it, you know, sure that everything is nice and, and sharp and smooth. Um, once again, freehand and everything. What I do is I freehand the, the client with his head laying on the headrest. And then after I think I've gotten to a pretty good place, I ask him to, I'll ask the client to lift his head up and look in the mirror so I can use the mirror and, and see, you know, the mirror is pretty much a tool to, to help you see if everything is even and whatnot. So he was pretty happy with the results. He was really happy with the haircut. Um, here I'm just obviously just um, making sure with the razor, you know, making everything detailed. And uh, I was quite surprised of how well the haircut came out. And obviously I was pretty proud of it. And in the time frame too, I only took about 36 minutes to do this haircut in full length from haircut to beard and transaction and everything. So that is a very, very good time frame to keep it at, um, especially with beard and haircut. So. I only have half an hour to uh, complete everything, but you know how it is. So once again, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if there's any other tricks of the trade that any of you might know, please uh, you know leave a comment below with them and I'll definitely try to implement them in the next haircuts, the next few days and whatnot. So once again, thanks for watching, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.